Morning, y'all. Uncle Eddie. There's my voice cracking. <laughs> uh, it's um like 5.55 and it's uh, sunrise, so it is good morning. Don't stare in the sun too long. Nice quiet day. Mild breeze, still a little damp. Um, low tide looks like. We're probably coming in now. A little fog on the river. Actually, I've been up for about an hour. Um, looking through, talking with uh, um, my nephew last night, and um, who has uh, uh, the coffee. It's one of his things he does, like on the side. He actually works for uh, Hangar Corporation. Does all the prosthetics and stuff. They're good, good company. Uh, my ex, she had gotten a really a state of the art artificial leg because she's an amputee from above the knee down, and uh, it was just a beautifully designed piece of equipment. You know, it's prosthetic limb, and uh, unfortunately, she didn't take advantage of it. But I was like, dude, if I had it, I'd totally support that thing. I thought it was cool looking, but I'm a total sci fi nerdy kind of person, so I'm like, yeah. Whatever. I'm pretty sure the tide is uh, might be coming in. Let's see. I have to get some have to get some grass because I can't tell by looking at it. Oh, that's still nice. Watch out for the goose mines. Don't step on that. So let's see. Oh, uh, it looks like it's heading out. There's a piece of grass over there. Looks like it's heading out that way. So, yep, heading out, going that way. So, well, it is pretty well full. Not high. Well, not overly high, but you can tell down here this wire grass. You can see the where it's stained. In the yeah, that's where the tide usually gets to. But the fog coming off the water with the sun in the background and is that a turtle. Yep. There's a little head poking up right there. Oh, there's another one. Looking there. Out and about, get a little air. And then go back down to the... I don't know how they see in that stuff, man. You can't see nothing in here. I mean, really. It's, uh, it's brackish water. Salt water and fresh water. And mud. And uh, you can't see anything in that water. Unless it's about six inches deep. And that's about it. So I don't know how they do it. I guess they just got that murky vision or murky. I don't know what what you call it they have, but I don't know. Do their eyes light up really bright or something? Like uh, that guy. Uh, uh, he changed his name. It used to be D Almighty, but like not Almighty, but you know Almighty. But um, now it's Scuba Jake or something, which is fine. Okay. But he, uh, he a young guy. I'd say, well, I say young. I know he's younger than me, without a doubt. He might be, he might be 30 now, maybe. Mid-20s, maybe. Mid or late 20s. He's starting to show his age. He's starting to show up one. Kind of funny. You know? see people go through that that stage you know and that young the young had that young boyish look and that's all grown up now which is kind of funny but, but anyway he does a lot of diving and he um he he recovers people's iphones and gopros and that's why i got the idea for the gopro you know he uses gopros everywhere and he dives with them and he goes he recovers phones and stuff, and he finds all kinds of stuff. He's found weapons and stuff. You know, turn it over to the police and everything. And stolen goods. He's helped out the FBI. He's done a lot of things for... A lot of good things for a lot of people. He, um... He did... He not too long... long not too long ago did a video... Or a couple videos. Um, for... A kid, a young kid who wanted to 
wanted to get you know die with him or whatever and uh make a wish unfortunately the young boy didn't do well with his uh you know his, I, guess he, I think he had cancer unfortunately didn't but he got his wish you know which is cool that's that's pretty huge you know really to do that uh so yeah so I started you know, boxing up more parts last night, and I got more stuff to do. Oh, I got to do more on that. Or those, the two steps and the pedal assembly. Uh, I'm going to strip some more parts this morning. Um, I hadn't posted the videos yet from yesterday, which I'm working on now. I was, I was uh, like proof watching, I guess you'd call it. Not proof reading, but watching and uh so you know i make sure i can see how they are and and uh see what kind of edits i gotta like there's some when i was prime uh, excuse me when i was priming all the parts out back there's you know time delay so i'll have to cut some sections out where i was away from the camera and you could, i could barely hear it i'm going what am i talking about <clears throat> so and uh multiple clips and stuff so I can I'll consolidate a few for uh so they'll be like the regular they'll be the video I'll, I'll do like videos for the, my channel how I do it for me and everything and y'all and then for um the ones for eBay will just be little, probably little excerpts and there may not even be any sound <clears throat> in it depending on on uh what I'm doing, like if I'm doing blasting or whatever, but I don't have any blasting, not with, not with this, not yet, not until I get a, uh, get or make, well, I gotta get some Lex in anyway, I'll get some, I'm gonna make a little plexiglass case so I can, uh, and properly seal it, because they like the, they say this thing's waterproof, and I'm looking at it, I'm looking like how the door hinges and all, and I'm like, no way. There's no way, man. <clears throat> nah, it's not going to happen. So, uh, and I know that uh, micro particles of dust would easily <coughs> get inside. And, nah, I'm not, it'd be on the microphone. Who knows? Nah, I'm not trying to do all that. So, uh, yeah, I'll have to make a little... Um, make a little box a little case for it just so i can uh so the guys so the people who um purchase the the stuff i do for the masses they can see the process and not just be half pictures i figure you know ebay recently just did that not too long ago you could do videos but they had to be for the products you know um, so that's what I'll do for that. And I'll make a little, a playlist just for that. eBay stuffs. Uncle Eddie's eBay stuffs. <clears throat> so, yeah, I'll do that, doing that this morning. But, oh, so I was, uh, so last night I was talking to my nephew and my, uh, longest and dearest friend, Cheryl, the one who got me this awesome camera. <clears throat> and um, she works for uh, Minuteman Press, uh, a printing company, and has been for the last 32 years, which is crazy. But that's what she does. So, And so my nephew and his wife, and I think that, and they have a partner who, um, who they're involved with to, to uh, for this coffee bean company, Sticky Bean coffee company and i um the link should be in the um uh, it should be on my channel and i put it in the description too you should check them out they um they roast them in uh in all kinds of yummy flavors and they're not typical not your typical you know regular and colombian and french roast and you know it, it's different and it, they're good and they're in bean form and so you know you you grind them and you get that 
you you can't get a fresher cup of coffee than ground first ground beans right in the morning you know and so anyway the bags that they stuck stick them in we like have a container like multiple containers <clears throat> and um and i was like you know it'd be nice to be able to peel the sticker off the bag and stick it on the stick it on the glass container so that way i know which which mix is in here because after you're done grinding the you know grind the beans and put the bag somewhere you know throw the bag away it'd be nice to be able to pull the sticker off the bag and stick it on the thing so that's what i'm trying to help help him out with and uh i'm, I'm going back in between texas between them two and myself of course so i'll give them each other's emails and they can work out the details so there you go so uh yeah why not helping people out that's what i like doing um trying to think yeah there's i did one video last night that i don't know if i'm gonna really uh, I don't know that I want to upload it. I was uh, venting. I'm um, kind of disappointed. In, so we got this tub, right? It took 16 months to get it. A lot of, just a lot of run around and a lot of non-communication from both the, the manufacturer of the tub and the, and the store that they, they got it from right just people totally dropping the ball but that's so we finally get the tub and everything and and the way the guys unloaded off the truck was fine they didn't you know that he was laying flat the whole time now i don't know how it got how it was shipped from the factory to that store or from the or stored somewhere in the store and then loaded on this other delivery truck which they had to pay for, which I think should have been nothing. They shouldn't have charged or anything to deliver it for the long wait and the lack of communication and everything else. But, uh, so, and then about two weeks ago, Mike, my buddy Mike, the guy who did the cutting and stuff for me, or about a week ago, I guess, um, cut the tree down when I was in surgery, came and helped me, we took it upstairs. And uh, it's sitting in the hallway and it's uh, standing upright, and it's on a blanket because I don't want it didn't want any damage to it at all. So yesterday, after I get all the the um, the valves and stuff in, and I, I didn't record that because it was just me and my dad. We were just chilling. He didn't really want to be. I don't think he wants to be on camera or whatever on video for that. And um, which is fine. He's respect that. And. Uh, so, and we were just sitting there shooting the breeze anyway, talking about this and that and everything else. But when I came out and looked in the hallway, I noticed that I was doing some measurements and I noticed that in the bottom corner, there's a chunk missing. So it's like that wide at the bottom and then it, you know, tapers up to a corner. And of course, it's right up against the wall where it's going to show. And I was like, what the hell is that, you know? And so we went downstairs and the box is still sitting on the front porch. Because I hadn't figured out what I'm going to do with it yet. Uh, I was going to you know, just fold it up and, and, and take it over to the recycle center. Or, uh, because I have some heavier parts, I want to use some of the cardboard of that big box and, uh, and whatever from whatever else I can to, you know, for packaging the products that I put on eBay. And, you know, I used the cardboard for that. So I went down and looked in that box. And sure enough, in the bottom of the box in the corner is that chunk missing. So, and I look in the box. There's a little bit of damage on the outside. But it looks like it was either either one or two things happened. Either, either somebody dropped the tub inside of the box. Like literally dropped it into the, into the box. With no, there was no um, uh, foam on there. Or... Um, they had the box standing, they, it was down, laying down flat, and then when they stood up the box like this, on the little edge, because the way it's made, it's not even, um, 
it's all fiber and no there's no mesh um i have a video about that about how that is matter of fact i have some of that stuff so the fiber mesh the weave is what gives fiberglass its strength and usually goes in the back and that's the fiber mesh right the weave is usually just this stuff but just chunks of it so it's ju just a matting of fiberglass which i don't have any i wish i had a piece of it i'd show it to you i'm sure i'll find something around here somewhere and uh, then you add the resin to it and the, and the resin with a hardener in it and it creates the gel coat which creates the surface um, and, and that's where really this, you know, that's the finisher, but that's the stuff that's easy to sand and paint and prime all stuff or prime and paint and then, and finish. So, but this tub has no, no weave in it whatsoever. So there's really no strength in it. Not much. Um, I've seen, I've seen El Cheapo boats made better. So... Unfortunately, the, the company who, who makes the tub, we had the special order because it's a special color. It's a, like a almond bisque or something like that. And it matches the vanities and, and everything upstairs. And, um, and that's what they wanted, everything to match. Matches the vanities, matches the toilet, all that stuff. The water closet, whatever you want to call it. And um, so, yeah, it took a while to get Longer, a lot longer than it should have taken, and but we didn't know, and they didn't call, they didn't, nobody said anything, and so uh, we had to constantly initiate the calls, and um, I had it out with a store manager of where we got it from at the store. I'm just very disappointed, and now I'm in. <sighs> you can't. It's not like it used to be. Like trying to send something back, and and. It's a hassle. It's a huge hassle. So it's a reason why I've been buying most of my tools at Harbor Freight because I'm I'm tired of the hassle, man. You know, like that like that thing, that vacuum. Supposedly the box the box is a three year warranty, right? But it's a it's a, it's a joke trying to um, to get them to hold their end of the bargain. You know, it's, it's, it's too, it's a hassle. It's just too much, you know, I don't know what happened to customer service and all that. And, and that's what I got into all that. And I, I really don't want to get into that right now. I just, it, the more I think about it, the more, oh, more irritated I become, you know. Um, I, yeah, I don't know what happened to it. And I just, uh, I mean, when I was in it, I flourished, man. I I did rather well, very well, and, uh, but I, I, the way I think it is anymore is it's profit, profits over everything else, they don't care anymore, they just, just don't care, that's just how I see it, but it's my opinion, it's what I'm entitled to, and it is what it is, so, uh, yeah, there you go, so let me get things going around here, and, uh, Get my coffee and all the good stuff. See what I'm going to be doing. I'll do a little inside blasting. I might even do some outside blasting because it looks like it's going to be another nice day. So in that case, I'll do... I got parts up there to do. Wheel weights. I want to get this going again. And I guess I still... So I have to redo the top, but I got to also do underneath. The underneath hasn't been done yet. So. But I can do that outside. And maybe we'll go and I got to pick up some plumbing parts for the drain and uh, a couple things that didn't come with the with the drain with the supposed PVC. Oh, it's all one fit kit ready to go. No, it's not all one fit kit. <laughs> Dreaming. <clears throat> no, not to do it the right way. Um, so I'll have to get a couple parts and maybe I'll pick up the Lexan to make the box. So uh, I'm going to hop off of here, and I will see you all again soon. Be good. Good to yourselves, your friends, your family, your loved ones, and uh, be good at it. And uh, I'll see you.